Good morning, everyone, and I warmly welcome you all to ITP Guide 4.0 Session 1. I'm Lakshana Kugaraj, and I'll be your host for today. I'm really honored to welcome you all on behalf of MS Club of Sleep. Work and you'll get what you need. Work harder and you'll get what you want. You guys are on your way to success by joining us today to enhance your knowledge and do better in your upcoming project. We all appreciate you being here. All right, without further ado, let's just get to our session. So the first session for today is going to be introduction to ITP, which will be conducted by Chatrika Tatsarani. Over to you, Chatrika. Thank you, Lakshana. So hello, everyone. Welcome to ITP Guide 4.0. So today I'm the speaker that is going to give you a brief introduction about ITP. So first of all, I'm Chatrika Tatsarani. Third year software engineering undergraduate and also a member of MS Club of SLIT. So let's see what is the content that I'm going to discuss today. So I'm going to discuss what is ITP and why is it important, topic selection for ITP and score for that. And additionally, I'm going to give you some important things to consider when you are completing your project. So let's see what is ITP. So you have already known that this is a module that you'll be getting in your second year, second semester. This is very important because you will get four credit for this module. And this is one of the largest projects before your fourth year research project. So in this module, you have to develop fully functional system. So this is not an individual assignment. You have to work with your eight member group to complete this project. And for the time period, you will get six months to complete, but most of the time it will be less than six months. So take this hands on experience and try your best to complete this project. So let's see what are the importances of your ITP project. So ITP helps you to show your true colors so you can show who you are and what you are capable of within your team. So this is not an individual assignment. You have to work with your eight member group to complete this project. So you will learn how to work with the team. And this is a good opportunity to gain new skills and experiences on how to work with new technologies and with new features. So for our project, our project is Denta Clinic Management System. For our project, we choose Mern as our technology. So you can choose the technologies that are in the industry. So take this opportunity and add new features and new technologies into your project. And if you do this project by your own, you can include this in your CV because this is a significant achievement in your CV. So you can get the attention in your interviews as well. And when you're completing the project, you will definitely get into problems and you have to work on your own to solve those things. So you will improve your problem solving skills. So for our project, we choose a client based project. We learned lots of things. So you, if you choose a client based project, you will learn how to deal with the client. So these are the importances of your ITP project. So let's see how to select a topic for your ITP project. So this is really important because you can't change your topic during your development process. So be wise and choose a topic that is suitable for your team. So when you are selecting a topic, always try to skip those common topics. Vehicle management, hotel management, these topics are already seen by the lecturers countlessly. So if you really want to do one of those topics, so you have to add something new. But my advice is to skip those common topics. So you have already heard about the Nana Shilpa mobile application. That team did something different and make their names shine through the world. So you can also do that. So you can choose a unique and different topic because after you are going to the industry, you, you all go to the industry after the graduation. If you did something different, you will get the opportunity in the industry also. So take that advantage because you have a wide area to select a topic. So always try to select a topic with a unique one. And the last thing is really important. You have to have a clear idea about the project among all the members. So some may think it is enough that you know about your own function will, but that is wrong because in our evaluation, we got questions from other members functionalities as well. So you 
So you should consider those things when you are selecting a topic. So let's see how to select a scope for your select topic, selected topic. So scope should not too large or small because you will only be getting six months to complete. But most of the time it will be less than six months and you have to do your math project and other modules as well. And for each member, you should have a significant business functionality. For that significant functionality, you should have CRUD function, search function and report generation. So for the report generation, you can use graphs, pie chart to show the statistics of your functionality. So you can use the libraries that are implemented for those technology. So you don't have to implement those things from the scratch. So after finishing your individual functionality, so all the systems should be integrated. So integration is required. Not only the integration, you have to do, you have to prepare your documentation as well. So as I can remember, at least we have submitted 10 documentation. So be considerate about your documentation as well. So when you are completing your project, you think ITP is just only CRUD. So don't think like that. Try to think beyond CRUD and try to apply out of box thinking and new features. If I tell you some example, rather than adding text boxes for your login functionality, you can add vision recognition. So likewise, you can add vision recognition, natural language processing, like those new features you can add. So try to think beyond CRUD. You can add new features, new technologies into your project, so you can make your project stand out from all other projects. So let's see how to apply software development life cycle to your project. So you can follow planning, analysis, design, implementation, testing and integration maintenance. So you can follow those six steps to your project because you have already learned those things in your SPM module, software engineering module. So you have already learned those things. So you can apply software development life cycle to your project because this is a good practice because in the industry you have to follow those steps to complete the projects. Not only software development life cycle, you can use agile methodology as well. So this is one of the software development methodologies. Using that, you can track your project development. For that, you can you have to plan your sprint. For that particular sprint, you have to define what you are going to build and what you are going to develop. So for that, you can use Agile Jira GitHub. So you have so many softwares to use for the Agile methodology. So if I show you some screenshot of that particular software, so as you can see, using that, using this software, you can track what you have already did, what are the things in the progress, and what are the things you have to do in the upcoming sprint? So likewise, you can track down your project so easily. So use those opportunities, use those technologies to complete your project. So let's see what is real world versus client base. So you can choose either real world problem or client based project for your ITP project. So if it is a real world problem, you have to give a solution to real world problem. So if I tell you some example for, so we have already faced the COVID-19 pandemic period. So for that, we can develop a system for COVID-19 pandemic period or a quarantine system. Like that, you have to give a solution to real world problem. So if it is not a real world problem, you have to choose a client-based project. So we did a client-based project and we learned how to handle a client and it is good hands-on experience. So because of the pandemic period, lecturers let us to do it is with a real world problem or client based project. But now we are encouraging you to find a client and try to do a client based project because in the industry you have to work with clients. That is why we are encouraging you to find a client and take this hands on experience before you're going into the industry. So let's see what are the things that you should consider when you're working with clients. So you have to always be polite and respectful because they are here to make their tasks done from us. So always be polite and respectful and don't try to call them whenever you got a problem because they are busy people. They don't have much time to come whenever you call them. So as a solution, you can list them down and ask them whenever you got a chance. And the last thing is really important. You have to identify client requirements clearly because 
they are not technical people and we are not the client. So we have to understand from their perspective what they want. Otherwise, we will build a system that they don't want. So, so please try to understand those things clearly when you're working with clients. So let's see how to work with the team when you're completing your project. So this is not an individual assignment as I have already said. So you have to work with your eight member group to complete this project. So teamwork is a must. So as the squad says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Likewise, you should consider those things when you're working with your team. So always try to manage your time, whether it is a physical meeting or online meeting. So you have to manage your time when you're discussing your project development and also this is not an individual assignment. You have to help your team members. So this doesn't mean that you have to do their all work by yourself. So you have to help them whenever they got a problem. So base of this ITP project is to finish your own function. Otherwise, you can't help your team members as well. And when you're doing your documentation, always fairly distribute the workload. So don't let one person to do all the documentation because it is the responsibility of the whole team, not only one person. And the next thing is really important. You should always try to attend the lectures and complete in class activities. So if you attend the lectures, you will learn new things. You can ask from the lecturers what are the things that we can do to develop our system and we can ask the problems from the instructors as well. Take that opportunity and always try to attend the lectures. And the last thing is you should respect your each step, each team member as a part of your team, because sometimes some members didn't respect their team members as a part of their team. So don't be such a people. Please always respect your team member as a part of your team, because this is a teamwork. So the team should work together to complete this project. So you should consider those things when you're completing your project as a team. So let's see. What are the important things that you should consider when you are completing your project? So. Deadlines, so you have to submit so many documentation throughout your ITP module as this roadmap shows. So if I tell you a few of them, you have to submit charter user story submission, ER submission testing. Finally, you have to submit your final report. So. When you are submitting those things, you have to consider about the deadlines. So in order to do that, you have to manage your workload and time. So in order because you have to do your mad project and other modules as well. So so best practice is to try to allocate time daily. So and also the next thing is really important presentation time allocation. So in the previous semester, some members couldn't show their progress evaluation to the lecturers because of the poor time management. So if it is 30 minutes, so you have to manage your time among all the members. Otherwise, some members couldn't their prog show their progress evaluation to the lecturers. So I am telling you to please at least practice three or four times before you going into a presentation. And don't copy the code segment directly from the Google without knowing what they're really for. So, so after you copy in that, sometimes your system will be going to break down. What will happen? And you don't know how to solve, the, solve those problems. So if you really want to copy those code segments, please first try to understand what that code segment. So otherwise, you can't solve the problems that are generating from the system. And so whenever you got the problem, Always try to solve them using respected documentation. So for MongoDB, there is a documentation prepared for MongoDB. Likewise, you can use the respected documentation that are prepared for that particular technology. And you can use Stack for Java point. So some may have already used those things. So you can refer those things because you are not the only person that got that problem first. So you can refer those websites as well. So and the last thing is really important. Please don't outsource your project. So if you are really going to do that, you will lose the chance that you'll be getting in your second year, second semester. So when you're completing your project, you will definitely get into problem. But 
you have the resources to solve those things. You can ask from your team members, you can ask from the lecturers, and you have the resources like respected documentation, stack cover, but don't outsource your project because this is the opportunity and this will be really advantageous when you're going into the industry. So don't lose this chance. Don't so don't lose this opportunity. Please don't outsource your project. So if I tell you my experience during our project development, so we got into so many coding errors, so many problems, and sometimes uh, conflict between our team members. But finally, we completed our project as a team. So I'm telling you to don't give up when you got a problem. Help your team members. Try your best because this is not an individual assignment. You have to work with your team. So work together to complete your project. So I hope you guys that you will do your best in your ITP project. So thank you. Lakshana, you can take this from now on. Thank you so much, Aturika. I hope you all learned a lot from that session.